Hello, it's Dervin here, and uh, I'll do a bit of a hobby update. Um, so I've been away in Brazil for work for a couple of weeks, and I don't know. I've been back. Well, I've been back for you know not quite a week, um, and I've finally caught up on the jet lag and everything. So I thought I'd just sort of talk about this mess. Actually, I need to uh, sort out this mess on this desk here. One of the things I need to do. But I've got the obviously the Falchimaga I've been working on here. Um, really haven't done a lot of painting since I've got back uh, on these guys. I've done a little bit of base coat on these guys here. Just slowly building back into it. It's one of those things when you don't paint for um, like three weeks, you've just got to ease. Well, I just seem to have to ease back into it. The other side of it is is the yeah, I suffered a bit this time from the jet lag really really bad um, someone had a bit of fun booking the flights for us obviously this time uh, and we went via Dubai to Brazil so I live in Brisbane in Australia and then there's Brazil I'll actually look that up on the map and work out where Dubai is and I can tell you we went the wrong way around the world and it was a very long trip um, <coughs> wasn't a lot of fun um, but anyway, so we've got the Felshamega. I've actually got the, the Pioneer wagon here is done. So I'll have to take some photos of that at some point. Um, the, oh, I've, I've actually finished the market store, which I completely forgot about for ages. Um, and get all the fruit there and vegetables. That'll focus, no. Oh well. There we go. I might need to do more work on the carrots on the top there. Why won't you focus? Oh. There you go. Apples at the end, oranges, carrots and potatoes. Uh the other stall has uh, bread and baked goods. So that's, I think that's worked out well. We'll have to, uh, I just want to muck around with a little bit more, not too much. Um, but actually with 3D printing, uh, one of the things I've finally managed to do is actually be here in Brisbane at the same time. Uh, the Edge, so The Edge is run by the State Library here and it's a, basically a fabrication lab and they run uh, you, inductions to use their, their their resources I suppose for free. Once the, you got to pay to do the inductions, once you've done that then you can book time on their resources. So um, the two inductions I've managed to get into is one for their 3D printer and the other one is for their laser cutting machine. So in a couple of weeks I'm going to go and do them and then I'll be able to book time on their machines. Um, the induction is actually really rare um, and each session they only take 10 people in um, and they only run those sessions every sort of three or four months. Um, so pretty lucky that I actually got onto them so that's good. Um, oh, the other thing is I've made or I'm working on some curved sections for my roads so I've got two there that are done um, so I made a you know master I did a mold up so I've done casted up two sections I'll do a few more of them uh, I need to work on um, T sections with uh, footpath that's on the list soon um, oh I've been watching everyone's black powder paint off stuff um, which is good it's heaps of people are getting into that which is good um, lots of videos um, yeah uh, so I've, I've purchased um, Napoleonic French engineers in here I'm gonna do something with them I have no idea but luckily the, the the paint off goes for a while so that gives me some time to think about exactly what I'm gonna do with these guys I'll do some sort of diorama or something because I don't I don't really do Napoleonics um, it's probably the best way to describe that but that'll be fun do something different 
Um, so I've got them. I'll need to sort that out soon, but I might finish painting these guys here. I've still got more Falchimander again somewhere over here on the desk uh, to paint. Um, but I'll probably just maybe do these guys, then I'll go and do the black powder paint off stuff. Um, what else is going on? Um, lots of, oh, the one other thing I have been doing, I have done some painting in the last week, but uh, completely different. And I was doing this for uh, two reasons. One is to sort of enhance or learn more about painting and mixing colors and things like that. And the other one was uh, I wanted to do something for my wife for our anniversary, which was last week. So um, I painted her a picture, which is just there, which is a, sort of an impressionist style picture. So that was my first ever painting I've done on canvas. Um, so she actually really liked that. I've got to go and hang it back on the wall again. Um, yeah, so that's just something other random that I've been doing. Um, other than that, I also need to go over here and sort out all of this stuff um, on my shelves. I don't know if we can, if you'll be able to see this, maybe I can turn the light around. Which is, this is all my finished stuff, but basically I have seeing my books and stuff. Um, here we go. I've run out of room for finished items, basically. So that's all my um, Crusader army stashed in there. Um, actually, there's my Armenian archers, which I need to do a, a final thing on them as well. I managed to clean them up. Up here is my World War II stuff. Finish Belshamir, you guys, at the back there as well. Um, and got some monsters down the end there. Um, but what I've realized is I've got this other shelf down here, which is all this just random stuff. A whole heap of Vikings there I need to finish. Um, a whole heap of other miniatures. My only 40k miniatures I own. Um, I've owned them for a while now, and I need to paint those guys one day. Um, yeah, I need to sort all this out. Uh, more stuff down the bottom there which I need to paint as well. But I need to make this more efficient, I suppose, or better use of the space I've got. Um, yeah, so I've got to do that. Um, lots of stuff I'm going to try and work on between now and the end of the year if I get time. Uh, oh, that's, that's where I'm at. Um, yeah, I suppose the next big thing is the black powder paint off. I need to, um, ooh, oh, I need to work out what I'm going to do there. Oh, obviously I've got the miniatures, now I've just got to work out what I'm going to do with them. Alright guys, uh, well, have fun, keep hobbing, and I'll talk to you next time.